Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. Here we go, let's start the show. No sit by Mr. T. Nintendo video games, all the favorite ones for me. Music review, some gameplay too. Battle and drones is what I do. Is it? Is it I am just the show by Mr. T. It's the show by Mr. T. Hey there, fools. Big T, and I'm back again with another video. I won't spend too much time on this video. Just want to talk about um, this, the ongoing stupidity I've seen uh, when it comes to Switch getting uh, new games, or at least games new to the platform that may have been on, the, on other consoles beforehand. Um, I just saw this, you know, uh, recently really stupid tweet that just kind of perpetuates, a, you know, um, kind of perpetuates a narrative when it comes to Switch and Switch getting new games. There seems to be like people that get offended by the fact that uh, uh, Nintendo fans are excited to get support uh, from third-party companies uh, to whatever degree that might be. It seems like every time there's a, a port of a game uh, that's been on the other consoles, maybe been out for a few years on other consoles, you're not allowed to be excited or happy that that game is coming to uh, the Switch. Because if you were a real gamer, I guess, you would have went out and bought the consoles for that game. Like, <laughs> is that the argument? Is that if you saw that game, if you're excited for the game on Switch, you should have been excited for it on something else that you may not have owned and therefore you should have went out and bought that console. Like that is just the stupidest argument of all times. And I, I, there's an elitism that permeates um, gaming. And it's that if I, if you don't have all the consoles, you're not as good a gamer or you're not as valid of a gamer as everybody. Well, let me, let me fix that. Cause it's not all the consoles. Now, if you have all the consoles except for the Nintendo console, you're still valid. <laughs> that is the rule you can have if you have an xbox one pc and a ps4 and not a nintendo console not a switch then you're still valid but if you have a switch and maybe an xbox one only you're not as valid as the guy who has everything or the guy who has uh you know pc ps4 xbox one and not a switch like you're an invalid gamer in these people's eyes. Now, I just happen to have all the consoles, um, but I didn't buy them for some kind of status reason. Um, I didn't buy them to prove that I'm a more valid gamer than somebody else who may only own an Xbox or may only own a Nintendo Switch. That's just my taste. And, you know, I bought, I buy consoles usually for the, um, not usually for, but only for their exclusive content so when i bought my xbox one it was for exclusive games um and uh what was that 2013 uh late 2013 i got it uh, when i bought ps4 is i'm a uncharted fan and it just happened to be at the right price at the time so i, I got that um and i'm gonna get the nintendo console regardless because i'm a fan of nintendo games but there's this elitism it seems like and this straw man argument is double standard when it comes to Nintendo fans. Nintendo fans aren't allowed to be excited for, I guess, for getting support. And, you know, just because you may not have heard of a game before it comes to the console that you're in tune to, the one that you pay most attention to, maybe, maybe you do have another console. But your main console is a Nintendo console. So when stuff comes out on your Xbox, say you had an Xbox or you had a PS4, um, when stuff comes out on that, smaller games, um, you may miss them because you're more focused on your your main console. So it's like <clears throat> that happens. Not everybody spends their every waking day looking at every new game release. And there's nothing wrong with you if you don't do that. Like... And, you know, and this is obviously about Warframe. Um, again, like, I'm not going to share the person who tweeted this because a lot of people are very sensitive on this uh, website and in social media in general. Uh, but 
it, this is the narrative that happens every time. I don't know, like I guess that happened probably with Skyrim. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, and maybe it happened with uh, Doom. You know, you didn't care about Doom until it came to the Switch. It's just like th- these guys are offended when quote unquote Nintendo fans or person who people who own Switches only. Um, or get excited when a game that's been out for a while comes to the Switch. Like, well, yeah. Like, like, what's wrong with that? Like, um, or like, let's say if there was a car, you know. Oh, obviously you have a car. Let's say there's a certain type of wheels, that, and you have you have a nice car, and there's only a certain type of wheels that come out, but they don't fit your car. You know, your car of choice. Are you gonna go out and buy another car just because you like those wheels? You know, uh, are you gonna you know, maybe you're not paying attention to the fact those wheels came out on another car, and you're not maybe just not gonna, you're not gonna go buy a whole another car just because you like those wheels. And so when those wheels come to the car that you own, you get excited. You're like, oh, finally I can play this game. I don't have to go out and buy another car to use these wheels. And that's I mean that that is the argument that these people are having. It's like you're not supposed to be excited. You should have went out and bought that other car. To, uh, to to use those wheels and this is like above like and this comes from people who who you know like to t- say that they're neutral and but they would never say this about you know let's say let's say if uh, Mario plus rabbits kingdom battle came out on PlayStation next year and these guys got excited for it. They would see nothing wrong with that. It's like, oh, I, you know, I wasn't going to go buy a Switch to play that game, but I'll play it now. It's coming. Like, and some people did that with other games that came out on Switch first, like um, the Shenin games. Like, uh, I remember people getting excited for seeing um, uh, what's the game? Uh, oh my gosh, um, Fast RMX. And uh, not fast armex, but um, what's the other the the body war that the body wars game? I can't remember on Wii U for some reason. I'm drawing a blank. I'll put it on screen. But when that game came to other consoles, people nobody made a fuss about it. Like they were people were happy that it was coming. They didn't say nobody. You know, so I guess some people were probably like, oh, I'm not gonna buy a Wii U to play that game. But now that it's here, I'm happy for it. And Bayonetta as well. Like these guys who crazy go crazy about bayonetta oh why is bayonetta stuck to a nintendo console um if you're so excited about bayonetta um you just buy a wii u right (laughs) like you have to buy a wii u if you you know if you're excited about bayonetta and bayonetta Bayonetta 2 and bayonetta 3 you just go buy that wii u or buy the switch now because bayonetta 3 is coming to the switch you gotta buy you gotta buy switch right that's the same logic so you can't be excited if somehow Bayonetta 3 ended up on uh, PS4 or Xbox One next year or a year or two years after it comes out, three years even after it comes out on uh, Switch, uh, you guys can't get excited about Bayonetta 2 and 3 coming to your console. Um, so that's the precedent you're setting. And it's the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard. And this kind of mentality in gaming is just unnecessary. It's pathetic. And it just needs to go away. Um, People can be excited for a console. Maybe it's the only console they own, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's the console they're most excited for. People can be excited about that console um, getting more support. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially from people who complain all the time that, oh, I'm not, oh, I'll buy a Nintendo console that doesn't have third party support. So it's getting that. People are excited about it, and you have a problem with that too. Pathetic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, as always. Thank you for watching and listening, and now see you fools next time. Peace out.